So in this video, I'm going to talk about a new Hunter Revenant build for Season 15. And I've done a similar build to this uh, a couple seasons ago. But that build was almost entirely based on the Glacial Inheritance mod that was in that season. This current build is entirely based on mods that if you've been saving up Elemental Well mods, you be, should be able to get with one seasonal mod that only makes it better. So this build should be relevant even after the season is closed. So let's talk about that. The key to this build is it's going to allow you to regenerate your Hunter Revenant Super constantly and also have grenade and melee charges to keep your battlefield completely under your control. I would say build wise, this is similar in concept to what you would do with a shade binder build with turrets, except with turrets, turrets are gonna stay around forever. In this case, this is based on your movement, but it still has the same effect of being able to control the battlefield. This build can be used in a variety of different PVE modes, but it's gonna be used best in any mode that has a lot of ads that you have to keep clear and is good for both solo and group encounters where other builds might struggle to control the battlefield. This is not a max DPS build. This is about being that person on your fire team that keeps the battlefield under control and keeps you in the firefight longer. So with that said, let's get into what the bones of the build are. So first off, obviously this is based on Revenant Hunter. And with Revenant Hunter, honestly, first off as a hunter, if you have Gambler's Dodge, it allows you to recharge your melee when you dodge near enemies. So that's gonna be a key thing that you're gonna utilize, just like in many of my other builds that are hunter-oriented builds. Obviously on the Revenant, your Withering Braid is obviously your melee ability, right? Which allows you to reach out and kind of freeze people. And I'll be using Dustfield Grenade primarily because over an area of effect, it'll actually allow you to slow and then eventually freeze enemies. And for this build, that's really useful. For aspects, I use Grim Harvest, where you defeat slowed or frozen targets they drop shards those shards then grant melee energy for you or other folks in your fire team i also use winter shroud when you dodge near an enemy which you're already dodging right to get your melee back you basically slow them which again compounds well and being able to slow enemies and freeze them over time is something you're going to need later on in this build so for fragments i use whisper of fractures Melee recharges faster when you're near two or more enemies. And again, that's the same thing I'm using with my Gambler's Dodge to get melee back quicker. So again, these, these stack on top of each other. Whisper of Bonds, defeating frozen targets grant super energy. So again, I'm slowing and I'm freezing enemies and that will allow me to get additional super energy. And then Whisper of Hunger, increase melee energy gain from picking up shards. So again, you saw in the earlier part of the video, I talked about getting shards. Those shards I get from defeating things also allow me to get super energy. So you can kind of get a clue on what I'm trying to do here with this build. Then let's talk about mods. So on the helmet, I have hands-on twice. Now this season, hands-on actually is cheaper, which allows you to do this fairly easily. Most seasons you can still get hands-on, but this is for this season, you'll be able to do even cheaper, allows you to put other mods on it at the same time. And this gives you super energy on melee kills. I also use Well of Potency, which is a seasonal mod which allows you, grants you super energy when you pick up a well. Again, we'll talk about that, how that synergizes in a little bit. On your arms, I get elemental light wells from super. So basically when you do a super and you kill enemies, you'll have wells all over the ground. On my chest, I get elemental armaments, which when you do weapon kills against enemies and it escalates on when you can get a well, and if you do higher tier, like if you defeat champions and things like those, those are pretty much guaranteed to drop wells every time. Then I also, on my legs, I do Font of Wisdom. Increase super generation for 30 seconds after you pick up a well. So I talked earlier about how you generate shards, how you generate wells. Well, then what I'm doing is I'm picking up a well and it helps me again with super generation. And then Melee Well Maker. And this is an important one. So you get wells from melee kills. And again, you can see where this build is starting to come together. So when we bring this together, this build allows you to generate melee energy often. You generate when you're near targets. You generate when you dodge near targets. You generate when you pick up shards. When you dodge, you not only get your melee back, but you have two charges of it, but you also slow enemies, which you, over time will begin freezing them. When you defrozen frozen or slowed enemies, you get shards. And when you pick up the shards, you gain melee energy. So you can see how this synergizes really well. So with all the melee generation, when you kill enemies with melee, your stacked hands-on gives you super energy immediately. You also get wells from the enemies you kill and shards to get the melee back. Those wells grant you more super energy on top of what you just got and also start a timer that gives you 30 seconds worth of increased super regeneration. So again, you can see the theme. When you do get your super and cast it, it will go around and generate free wells for you and then start the process all over again. Add Frosties to this and you're constantly generating your super. Add to this the ability to just kill ads with weapons to generate additional wells and you can see where all this kind of stacks up. And I would say the other thing with this, and I haven't really tried this, with the ability to drop so many wells and shards, 
This is also something that could probably synergize with other stasis folks playing with you. And one thing to keep in mind, the Revenant Super has been really not that great for a while, but they buffed it a little bit with the season. So it's definitely much better in PVE to the point where it moves much faster, it tracks enemies, it tracks the bosses, and it'll sit on top of bosses and actually do damage. So you could also do things where you have people in your fire team do focusing lens or something else and do it over a period of time. So there's a lot of really cool, interesting things you could potentially do with this build. With these two abilities coming back quickly, your super and your melee, you can essentially freeze every enemy in the battlefield. You can use this to run very difficult or add full content solo, or if you're running this a fire team, have them run stasis like I mentioned earlier, as well on any class and become a shard generating machine for your fire team that can feed their abilities. So again, this is kind of a cool build. I would say, you know, I've done a lot of different builds this season, stuff for ad clear, stuff for, you know, max DPS. I like this one, especially when I'm doing things by myself, where I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a match made activity where I'm matching up with other people and I can't communicate with them to allow me to make up for their mistakes, to allow me to control the battlefield. But I think this build also has some play in other end game content. I could see modifying the loadout a little bit as far as the mods, adding some where you could actually do things for champions and get wells from champions and other things. So I definitely think this is a good base build that you could use for a lot of things. But the key to this build again is about generating your super, generating your abilities, and keeping control of the battlefield. That's the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and jump in my Discord. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.